This must be one hell of a motherfucking house. What you throw at me, I'm gonna rise in it <laughs> Tiffany blues to a clear sky On airplane mode cause I'm so high I can crack the code like DiCaprio or that kid on over What's up cousin, welcome back to another weekly vlog If you new here, hey girl, hey Okay, welcome, welcome Listen, I feel like it's been so long since I chopped it off with y'all It's been a minute, it's been a little while I haven't really been like vlogging consistently Even though I still been dropping content <laughs> Um, a lot's been going on. Y'all already know. If you don't know, uh, just, just follow along like you do know. <sighs> this house shit. Girl, baby, I know y'all waiting on the update. I've been getting all type of deals, private messages, like, sis, what's up? You left us on the cliff. <sighs> Get ready. Okay, first of all, I started vlogging this morning. I know y'all seen that. I didn't really get a chance to like finish, so I showed you what I can show you. Okay, cousin. So the last time we chopped game, I told y'all at the baby shower, I, um, what did I tell y'all? What happened at the baby shower? I gave her the offer letter. We wrote an offer. We finally wrote an offer. That's what it was. We were waiting on a decision. We haven't heard back yet. Now, I'm pretty sure it was like day three. Like, you only get 72 hours to make a decision. So I'm pretty sure it was like day three. We haven't heard back yet. We was freaking out. I was just trying to be cool and like, like, you know, but freaking out. I feel like about a week passed. It was pretty, it just kind of, cousin, girl, I just feel like I need to slow down because it's just all, it's a lot. It kind of got bad to the point to where the buyer was just like so irritable and so like overwhelmed with the process to where like she was like, girl, tell her to find another house. <laughs> Not you wasting my time for six weeks. Yeah, I kept looking. No luck. Obviously, it's very frustrating. And you know, when you kind of going through like something this serious, it's really hard to vlog. Like, I know we have this community that we're building and this commitment, and I am. I mean, I'm giving it my all, cause you hear me? Like, I'm I'm trying so hard to stay consistent, but it's really hard to tap in when you're so discouraged with life shit, like real shit. You know what I mean? And it's not like I mean, it's not that big, but it's that big. You feel me? Like, it's it's. It's just, it's, just, it's a lot. I hope you like, I hope it makes sense. I don't know. Anyway, some time went by. We still haven't found nothing. We're looking, houses are trash. It's like the inventory is like, okay. At least for my my rank, our, for our budget, it's like, it's, it's just slim to none, you know? So we just, let me put some lotion on my hands, girl. I just washed them, they looking very. <laughs> so we decided to circle the block. We was like, you know what? Talking to our realistic chopper gang, spin a block on this one. And we're gonna give this woman everything that she's asking for. We're supposed to hear back tomorrow. I feel like we've been talking about this for so long that y'all probably like, this must be one hell of a motherfucking house. This house must be brown, you feel? Like, it's not even that. <sighs> Oh my god like you know what i mean but it is a beautiful starter home it really is i'm not gonna downplay it. it's a beautiful starter home but it's not like we about to move into a motherfucking mansion like that's not the vibe <laughs> yeah we just want three bedroom two bath brick garage and some, some kind of space you feel me and if <laughs> if the lord willing some type of curb appeal like <laughs> Some kind of curb appeal. I don't want to have a long 12 hour, 14 hour shift, pull up at home and it's like, girl, this is what I work your hard for? Like, you don't want to feel that. You want to, you feel me? You want to pull up that ball. <laughs> you feel me? You like, you want to pull up like, yes, diva. That, that's what it's all about. Ain't no buyer's remorse. With your home, I can't take that bitch back. You feel me? I can't be like, here, take your home back. Like, no. So you want to be happy with the final decision because it is a very, very, very big purchase. That's T sis. I know y'all been like, what's the move? What's the way? Praying for me. Like, I really do fucking appreciate everybody that's been commenting or sending me private messages. Like, girl, I get it. I've been there. Keep your head up. Like, I'm already sending my prayers up. Like, I'm already just blessed. Like, saying congratulations already because you're going to get the home that you know is meant for you and the one that you want to all these 
Christine. So thank you so much. Like, please don't think that I don't see it. I respond to everybody. Like, I'm so grateful. I'm so thankful because all that positive energy you be needing, especially like when you just, you'll find that your real support so weird will come from complete strangers or people that's just not a part of your everyday life. And I said what I said. My client here was cute as fuck though, wasn't it, y'all? That shit was so cute. Sometimes I be surprising myself, like, girl, you be doing the damn thing. You want bad mama jamma, boy, I tell you. I'ma make noise in the street, please. All the fake love you can keep, peace. You can't fuck with my energy. You can't fuck with my energy, cease. I'ma make noise in the street, please. All the fake love you can keep, please. You can't fuck with my energy. You can't fuck with my energy. process and I'm glad thank you so much for tuning in and watching that shit means a lot to me because I do work my ass off I'm not a full-time youtuber okay my own business as y'all know I do hair every fucking day so I, I I try to I try to vlog though like I am full-time so when when that pressure do come is is nothing it's nothing because I've mastered it so anyway basically we was waiting on the signature and we got the fucking hit me like right now in this moment because I was just telling my honey like I I think I'm just been so like over the process that like when it happened it was just like a minor whew. and I was like okay now we got to get through the inspection now we got to get through the appraisal you know and like praying that everything in an inspection just comes back reasonable you did what I'm saying to where it's not something that's so crazy that it doesn't make sense to purchase the home um, and then the same thing with the appraisal like you want it to come back more than what the hell you wrote your offer for because girl that bank ain't that Linda ain't they ain't cutting the check they're not gonna cut the check if you put in a $200,000 offer and that thing come back at 160 then this 160 and then at that point you and the seller like come on please girl I can't give you more than what the house is worth it's only worth 160 so we, we over that little hump and it is a it's a minor relief but it's just like there's so many more things to get through and get over that it's just like can't even really like appreciate I don't even want to say appreciate because we we're happy but it's just like you, you just don't even want to get too happy until like you know you get over these next few humps. So the inspection is scheduled for this Monday. And at that point, that'll be another and we'll be able to like to move forward or whatever. So we're excited. It's just one day at a time. Just still staying positive, still staying prayed up. Just cannot wait for this process to be over. So that's where we at. I do have a late client today. Actually, my client is like 45 minutes. But for whatever reason, girl, I was craving Panera Bread um, macaroni. And the crazy thing is, I haven't even, like, I don't, I haven't liked their, where the fuck is it? Oh, it's further down. I haven't liked their macaroni since they changed, like, the little recipes. So, I don't know what that's about. But, I need, I want some Panera Bread. So, we're going to grab some lunch. And then I need to run into Five and Below real quick for a few teens. 
I gotta do my lay bare hair. Y'all know her. Y'all met her a few times on the channel already. So, and yeah, I'm bringing y'all with me. It's been a, such a hell of a fucking journey, cause like, girl, we just don't talk about this shit enough, and we need to talk about it more, cause ooh baby, ooh baby. Let's run into the stuff, cause we're really we rolling on borrow time, limited time, limited, limited, limited. Okay, cousins, obviously we're done. I'm starving. I'm gonna have to somehow demolish this on the way to work. I need to try to see if I can like put all this stuff in the gift bag really quickly. Boy, people know. Uh uh. Huh. Oh, they must have dropped the whole bag. That's trash. Just might need to get out there and clean that. That is so nasty. Look, girl. Like, oh, you can't see. She loves to paint. So I just went to like Five and Below and got like a bunch of stuff. Hopefully it's not like, girl, too cheap because I don't know nothing about painting. Okay. Too cheap and like she can actually use it all. So I got her like a small two piece canvas and then a larger one and then like, all right. Okay. I got her a sketchbook just because it was cute. I think journals are so important, especially for little girls. And like, it was my favorite thing to do when I was younger. The best way that I expressed myself was through writing. So I thought this was so cute. It says, never give up on your dreams. Cause please don't. And then just enjoy all the little things. So something like personal she can have by her bedside and like, you know, journal wherever she's like, got a lot going on. And Lay Bear is like low key an old head, even though she's so young, but she loved these chocolates. So I got her like two of these. Then like some scented paints, some glow paint, and then some more acrylic paints in the car. Is on me. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Why is everybody so cute? What y'all got going on today? Listen, nothing. Ah, listen. Oh, like that's yours. You remember last time you came and I had your gift? Cause I'm like, oh, no, I take it. We want it, but I don't think that's mine. That not this don't time. Act, don't act shy. That ain't yours this yours. time, honey. For your birthday. That's yours. Layla, is you yours? Yours. Your gift is yours. Yeah. 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 Yeah
yeah. So, I don't know. We shall see. We'll see. Oh, guys, I love my hair. I know I'm not like a real curl person, so I just want to like body, but curls, but not curls. I couldn't really explain it. She, I feel like she just mastered it so perfectly. Per huge. That's all I'm going to do. I'm not about to clean nothing else. I just really want to sweep up the mess in here. Mm -hmm. I'm back later for everything else. I have my little hat on earlier, but I don't want to mess up my hair because not feeling cool. I need some a drink. Oh, I got the water. Oh, I tell you, I be loving myself. All right, because we about to bounce, and I'm going to holler at y'all in a second. Peace. Oh, my gosh. Can y'all see all the car? Oh my gosh, they're like low key probably so pissed at me, but they don't even know that I'm blessing them right now. I'm gonna tell you how in a second. Hold on. Okay, so let me tell y'all what just happened. <laughs> when I pull up at the bank, right, I needed to make a deposit, but the bank is closed on Saturdays, like after three. So I'm using the ATM. Now, when I get there, nobody is there, girl. But as I'm like making the deposit, like cars are coming out of nowhere. Like, I mean, nowhere. And I'm like, oh my gosh. So, like, if you ever deposit money in the ATM before, depending on what kind of bank you're banking with, they only allow you to deposit so many bills at a time. So you have to like keep going through the process of like inserting bills and then waiting for them to accept it. I'm like, oh my gosh so like i'm getting like anxious because i'm like i know these people are like probably cussing me out in their car because i'm like taking so long at the atm and i'm like i don't want to be like selfish and like usually i just like you know what whatever i'll just deposit this pull out pull back around like let them go they just need to do like quick deposits you know what i mean uh but this time i'm like you know what i'm about to just get it done because girl no this line long as hell end up being like over like 10 cars y'all in this freaking line for the atm but i said i was blessing them because when i pulled up the atm said no withdrawals right now like they, they must have just cleared it out. I don't know. I feel like I'm making this deposit. I'm helping y'all because technically you can't even withdraw right now anyway. So if it wasn't for my deposit, you would have been hit. So that's what I was talking about. I thought that was pretty funny. That was pretty cool too though. Like it felt pretty cool. I feel like I was helping my community. <laughs> even though it was just by default. But that's okay. All right, cousins, I'm back at home. I need to finish doing my house chores. I want to go ahead and start editing this vlog so it can go about tomorrow. And then I need to still film, obviously, the Wilbur Brook do segment. So I'm about to tap out for now. But I love y'all, and I'll holler at y'all next week or tomorrow or soon. <laughs> Peace.